Hello from Russia. My name is Niki, I live in St. Petersburg city and I just moved to a new rented apartment today, literally my first day here. And I have a little problem. My kitchen and my fridge is entirely empty. And I thought that is a wonderful opportunity to give you another supermarket tour and show you this part of living in Russia. Yesterday I asked my Instagram followers one simple question. How much of their monthly income they spend for grocery shopping in percentage? And I found out that most people who replied they spend anything between 10 and 20% of their monthly income for groceries. Which made me think like is it even possible to spend this amount of money for groceries in Russia or not? St. Petersburg is a huge city and salaries are quite nice here compared to the rest of Russia. Average income is 82,000 rubles, which sounds more than average to me. And median income is exactly what I expected to see – 62,000 rubles or $1,000 a month. Easy to calculate 20% of this number. I will assume that $200 is our monthly grocery budget, so 50 bucks is gonna be our today's entire budget, as we are doing shopping for one week worth of groceries. So what are we gonna do next? As you see, my kitchen is entirely empty. There is nothing in the fridge, like literally nothing. There is nothing here, nothing there, nothing in the oven. And the only edible thing here for now might be only this water. A little disclaimer before we get inside of the supermarket. This time it's not the cheapest groceries possible, like $2 a day I did before, certainly not. I'm just going to buy food and products that I get used to get for my daily life normally, although not getting anything real expensive, just sticking to good, nice products. And also looking for discounts, because I think they will help us a lot today. There is a supermarket we are going to. It is Perikryostok, neither cheap, neither expensive, it's just average priced supermarket market, at least in St. Petersburg city. First of all, we're gonna get some essential stuff, and for me that must be frying oil, prefer the olive oil, salt, sugar, pepper, and the rest of the spices. I don't think I'll need anything else, actually. Empty cart is gonna be full soon. Basically, in Russia, we have two kinds of oils. Sunflower seed oil and not sunflower seed oil. Among them, my favorite best is basically any kind of olive oil, olive oil, olive oil. But to be honest, the price difference here right now is so big. It's like half a liter of this nice sunflower seed oil costs 66 Russian rubles. And about the same size olive oil, also half a liter, will cost like 10 times bigger. Among all the stuff, I actually found this olive oil directly from Portugal. Hello, my Portugal friends. So directly from Portugal and it costs 370 rubles. It's a tiny bottle, but I don't think I need more than that. So let's get this and keep shopping. I actually found a bigger bottle here. It's like one liter for 800 rubles. This will definitely be more cost efficient, although that is a little bit like overkill for me. We have plenty of things to choose from. Some are real expensive black pepper, not crushed one. It's like three dollars, come on. This one is also a bit expensive for our today's budget. But I found exactly this kind of pepper. There is no pricing, by the way, but luckily every big supermarket in Russia has such kind of machine to check the price. That's all right. So we'll get this pepper. We'll also get this kind of grass. I have no idea how to call this in English. I guess it's time to learn. And lastly, we have this pack of Italian grass. You know, first I say that I only need frying oil and the spices as my essentials, but actually I forgot about the tea, I forgot about the coffee and some sauces, so looking for some tea and coffee now. I don't know how am I supposed to choose my team on all these options, you know? The more options we have, the harder it's actually to pick one, but I found this Cortis Relax, I actually like drinking such kind of chamomile and lavender tea. So I'll get one of these, it's 100 rubles a pack. And also a pack of this delicate black tea. It looks nice, but it also costs just 100 rubles. So together it's like 200. And for coffee it's actually not easier, we have plenty of things to choose from. This kind of coffee is that you just add water and you can drink it. Some coffees for 
coffee machines, there are some even capsules of coffees. None of this coffee is actually something that I get for myself often. I prefer uh, having coffee in tiny drip pockets or do it Turkish style, although at my new rented place I cannot cook it Turkish way. So perhaps I'm be satisfied with having such kind of like simple add water coffee. I bet that is instant coffee. I gotta check it once I'm back home. Oh my goodness, guys, you know, when I was just coming to the supermarket, I was thinking like, I don't really need that many essential stuff, but here we are. Spent already a good amount of money from our today's budget for this stuff. We have a lot of salt over here, a lot of sugar and flour over here. Oh man, it's even hard for me to pick between these two stuff. It's like, I know that inside of these bags the salt is about the same, but this one looks prettier than this one. So I think I'll pick this sea salt for about 100 rubles instead of just salt for 50 rubles. Just for the sake of beautifulness. Wait, there is no word like beautifulness in English. And here is the sugar I'm gonna get. It's 50 rubles for half a kilo. Of course, it's not that cost efficient compared to like one kilo for 70 rubles, but I don't need that much sugar and I have no idea how I will keep it. So this one is not only looking better, but also it's much more like easier in use with this tiny pack of meat. Sorry, sugar. And here's all the flour we have in the store. I really like this one. It costs the same as other brands, but it's local, made in St. Petersburg. So let's get this one. I think we are done with our essential shopping. Here's all the stuff that we have in our cart for now. And if my math is not wrong, we spend about 20 bucks. Doesn't sound that good to me right now. Every single time when I go groceries, I think about my shopping list, like what I want to buy for morning, what I want to buy for lunch, what I want to buy for dinner. So let's start with our morning. Oh, the morning eggs are right here. Every single time when I mentioned eggs, I said that this exact thing is something that I usually get for myself. Today, luckily, we have a discount. It's 80 rubles a pack. I think that's a good deal for eggs, although obviously there are some cheaper options, although I do not have much trust to the cheaper option. Why this product costs like two times cheaper than any other stuff on the shelf. I have no trust to that. Right next to the eggs we have a lot, a lot, a lot, really, 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 really a lot of dairy products and I cannot live without dairy, so first we're gonna get some milk. Here is my favorite kind of milk. I don't know, I'm just attached to this Kettish guy. Here is some nice cream cheese, it's like local brand of this supermarket and cost 135 rubles. Let's get it. I also like having butcher broths, some kind of sandwiches in the morning, but I never, never, never get bread in supermarkets like this. Sometimes I get their local pastry, like baked right at the supermarket, but never get such kind of factory stuff, because in St. Petersburg they have insanely good and affordable bread at local bakeries, like everywhere around the city. It costs usually about 60 to 80 rubles per one loaf of bread, so just count this and I'll get it tomorrow. And here's another thing that I like having for breakfast, together with some berries or some nuts. It's like 86 rubles a pack. Not so big one, but all right, let's get it. Actually, no, look at this. It cost about 8 rubles, exactly the same as this pack, although number three has 350 grams and this one has like 500 grams. Let's put this back and get this one instead. Oh, mate, I literally feel how we are running out of money. We have like, I don't know if my math again is not wrong. We have about 20 bucks left. I think we gotta have some noodles and rice and then aim for some stuff like sausages or meat, anything like that. Well, if I'm really broke, I might get this one, the cheapest in the store, like 25 rubles a pack. Perhaps not even the cheapest one. This one might be the cheapest one. Not getting it today. Instead, I'm getting this spaghetti for about 70 rubles. Looks nice. I also checked the ingredients and there is a significant difference between this pack and that one. This one is better. Oh, just after seeing this spaghetti, I realized we are missing something else very essential, the sauces. I love sauces, I need it for cooking, and they are damn expensive here. 
here is something that I'd like to see in my kitchen. It's like two bucks, three bucks a bottle. Here's something that I also really like. It's like Sriracha. How do you pronounce it? Sriracha. Cost like 280 rubles, a little bit too much, I guess, for today. But what I also often use in cooking is soy sauce. That is 90 rubles per bottle. That is nice. Let's get this one. Well, I actually will not take any other sauces. I feel like it's already like not much money left. Now going for rice, then going to fresh vegetables and fruits and see how much money we left after that. Oh, rice is here. Ris длинnozerny, 125 rubles a pack, which is actually cheaper than average. Let's take it. Looks nice. You know, guys, I just caught myself having a thought like I'm having so much pressure right now going grocery shopping and showing how exactly I manage my budget. Maybe some of you think like, wait, that stupid guy is spending money for some BS food, BS products, while he can get something like this or something like that. But anyways, just shopping as I typically do for myself. And here's vegetables that I'm gonna get now. A good variety of stuff over here and also over there and also over there. The potatoes that I typically get is this one because I'm lazy to actually wash it. It is more expensive, it's like 80 rubles instead of 40 rubles for unwashed one or 50 rubles for like not that dirty but still a little bit dirty potato. But I guess today I will not be that lazy to get this potato. I'll like save a bit money and let's get this one. For me it looks nicer. Oh, mate, I also wanted to get some tomatoes, but tomatoes are like no good here. The only good thing about these tomatoes is the price. But look at this, it's like, how do you call such kind of like, I don't know, old ugly tomatoes. It's like definitely not a good sign. And also I see a lot of flies being around. I don't know if you actually can spot it, pay attention over there. So we are not getting any tomatoes, we are also not getting any eggplants here, just look at this, it's like no good. In my opinion, Perikrestok is a good supermarket, but seeing this in their supermarket it's like a bit disappointing, although it's the very first time. So I'm not gonna get any vegetables or fruits at this place, I'll order it online, it will be relatively the same price. But before going to get some meat, I want to show you a cool thing. When I was buying potato, I was actually taking it and waiting it by myself, which is not the most typical thing. Many foreign countries, or when I went to a supermarket, I just take the food, I just take the fresh stuff and go to the cashier and they do the thing. But here, in many supermarkets in Russia, you first need to take a thing, place it on the machines and remember the number that is in front of the product, like 146, then you need to go for this number right in the machine, and only then you get this tiny piece of paper. Cucumber for 16 rubles, but we are not getting this. I just wanted to show you how this machine works. Здравствуйте. А вы скажите, что-то вроде карбоната свиного у вас есть? Есть. Какая из частей больше? Вот эта вот, да? Да. Спасибо. I'm kind of surprised. Right now we have the full cart of groceries. Of course, there is no mm, fruits and no vegetables yet. But we got everything except the fresh stuff and we still have like 12, 13 dollars left. I think we will surely have enough products to have enough food for the following week, which again surprises me because honestly I thought that maybe I will not be able to get enough products because I need to get a lot of essential stuff. So I estimate that we'll spend about 500 rubles for vegetables and fruits shopping online, which leaves us a bit of money for getting something, I don't know, something sweet or maybe some juices. Let's go find it. Oh, we actually no need to find it, it's right here. I think I'll pick one of these because with our ingredients, with exactly eggs and milk and flour, it's possible to cook Russian pancakes, aka blini, and one of the best things for blini 
is hidden here and it's actually not hidden it's just staying here on the shelf is raspberry jam malinové varenie which has only two simple ingredients the sugar and raspberry for the rest of the stuff I'll shop online, it's really, really convenient in Russia. You simply, like, use an app, pick whatever you want, and after 15 minutes, a delivery guy gets to your door. So, that's that simple. Now let's pay for all the stuff that we got today and come back home for a conclusion. I think we did pretty well this time. A lot of stuff over here. And also we spent, I don't know, an hour and a half shopping. So even the entire mall, the entire shopping mall is closed now. And the city is dark, like literally. Look at this. See you home. Whew, so I'm just back home and honestly I'm little bit tired this day was full of relocating and doing the stuff right now it's already 11 p.m finally back home today i didn't try hard on going and finding the cheapest options the cheapest products i actually was quite liberal at picking the stuff that i actually want for myself without paying too much attention if something was a little bit above average in terms of price. Of course, we didn't get anything like really expensive. I would really like to get good cheese, though it's not in our today's budget. I would really like to get some good red fish, although it's much, much more expensive today than before. Anyways, I'm glad that we found out today that for somebody with relatively average income in the city of St. Petersburg, it will be all right to spend about 20, maybe even 15% uh, of their income for grocery shopping, although without getting really expensive stuff, but also not trying to get the cheapest among the cheapest, which is kind of a good thing, right? So the rest of money I spent for fresh stuff and got really a lot of them. Just look at this amount of food altogether that cost 800 Russian rubles and we have a bunch of nice bananas, tomatoes, cucumbers, pears, eggplants, garlic, onion and peach. A quick shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much guys for supporting me and my channel. And I guess see you next time. Спасибо and пока.